Hey, do you remember that building I built in the last episode? Yeah, there's a bit of holes in it now. Turns out there's a lava source in here, which burnt down a whole lot of the wood. Yeah, I'm a professional Minecrafter. Hi, welcome back to Minecraft Hardcore, another episode of Josh Core. Yeah, it turns out in the, uh, in the last episode when we built this beautiful farm tower, uh, a bit of the lava that was down here on this floor burnt a hole in this. I actually replaced the spruce because I was trying to figure out what the problem was. And then I noticed the, the floor here burnt out, and that's what I assumed did all of the wood here. So I might have to do something different here. I can't exactly turn fire tick off because, you know, it is hardcore mode. So we're just kind of stuck with, with this. I, I don't even know if I'll be able to do this. I might even have to change the palette here from the wood to something else to, to make this work here. But I'm pretty sure this whole chicken thing has been working slowly but surely. These guys grow up. I'm not sure if they can run out, by the way. I built this farm with this block here. I, I'm not sure if they can run out. They might be able to, but I don't see any chickens in here, so I, I don't think they can. But yeah, that's kind of where I'm at. So this farm will probably be hopefully fixed by the end of this episode. I probably won't show me fixing it. However, one goal that I've kind of started doing uh, a little bit here is just tidying up the, the random pathways from the old, old, old village that was way here. And I'm just slowly putting it back to dirt here because I want to put in my own pathways at some point. Want to start making this place look a little bit better. Remove all the torch spam. Set up like street lights and stuff like that or hidden lighting. Don't want any torches around here. I want to make this look like a nice proper village for the area. Clean up the farm and all of that. So that's what I've kind of been doing here. I've been gathering a whole ton of stuff here uh, as well. So that's probably going to be the main goal for today's uh, video is to just destroy all of these paths. So... Uh, I'm gonna do all of this and get back in a little bit Looking at the beautiful town. I think it's coming along great now that the paths are all gone They're all cleared up here. I'm gonna work on thinking of a new design for the paths here It's gonna be decently tricky to come up with them I want to balance something with the calcite and the cobble deep slate I was thinking deep slate edges or like 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 path edges Yeah edges is the word I was looking for and then calcite middle I'm not sure how that would look. I might have to just do like a like a like a, a ton of them just back and forth and then just see which which design I like best uh, and go with it from there. So I'm gonna make some path designs and mock uh, mock pathways here just to see which one I like most here and then we will see from there. So I'm gonna gather a whole ton of cobble deep slate calcite, which I do happen to have. Cobble deep slate. I have plenty of that for pretty much forever. Uh, calcite as well. There we go, and yeah, I'm just gonna put up a whole ton here. So one that I was thinking with would be calcite in the middle, and deep slate on the edges, and then conversely we had deep slate on wrong way. We would have calcite on the edges, deep slate in the middle, and calcite on the hmm. So like this path seems too white. This path seems too black. I don't know. Although this one does look better. I like the darkened edges. I think it would frame it in well. Uh, the one thing, though, that I would like to do is do, like, slabs on the way up. Ooh, could I mix in polished diorite? Hmm. I am 100% just going up with this on the fly. I feel like this is something that would look better uh, once it's all done here. So I'm, I'm going to probably just be back in a little bit once I figure out my design because I'm honestly not sure. Do you remember before when I couldn't figure out if I wanted white or black or which one was too much? Well, I found the perfect solution. Just put two of each, you know? Two white, two black perfect path i think this is the way to do it the way on the outside i just don't think it's as good this kind of seems like it's a border and then this is what i'll do when we go up a path i want to do a slab that way i don't have to you know have to go like this and jump that's that's monotonous i don't i don't want that this just will just create a nice flow here i even tried out you know the white on the outsides here or just a whole white path here which just doesn't look good i definitely think it needs to have the mix kind of like the wall here uh, as well so that's what i'm going to probably do for most of the area here now that i have a design i just got to make it look good and wrap it around the town to connect all of the main buildings i have around here uh including making uh some sort of bridge here which i'll probably have to rip out this very old farm which i've had since the very beginning so it's gonna be sad to see that go but it will look better with all the paths and so let's get to that okay yeah so remember how i said i was gonna make paths I didn't make it a whole town square, so yeah, there's a whole thing down here. I'm gonna put beacons in here. Once I get the blocks, they're gonna be shooting up, making a nice town center here. Uh, and this is the kind of the town center. I didn't really know where else to put it. Like, there's not really much flat area around here that I could really use. So that's kind of what I'm gonna be using for the town center. I think it's cool if I put maybe like some smaller shacks in here. 
uh, something like that would look nice. But the path as well, I try not to also keep going in straight lines like I had once done the paths and they were straight and it just didn't look right. I like the more free flowing uh, kind of diagonals in here, I think makes it look a little bit better uh, as well. It makes it feel more like a town as well. Like this is a part that I guess I never switched, but uh, this is kind of like how it would be. It would be like that and that it just didn't look right. So I think it's a lot better free flowing in here. Plus this little town center I'm super proud of. I thought that turned out really well. Uh, but I'm also going to work on destroying the farm right now, which is kind of sad because this is one of the first things I built on the world here on Josh Gore. Uh, just to first help me with the, the breeding of the cows, which kind of helped me get my first early levels on. So it's going to be kind of sad to see this thing go, but I think it will definitely help more in the future now that it, uh, once it's gone. There's a, yeah, this path that I knew was a little bit off there. It didn't look quite right. There we go. Just finding things to tweak here. But yeah, I'm going to gather some stuff here and at least put some of my, my junk away and then work on that section over there. So uh, we'll put some of it away and just throw it on the shulker box for future Josh to deal with. There we have it. As you can see, the area here where the farm used to be is now cleared up, which makes it very easy here to build the bridge. I have gone three wide here because it goes to one wide for the door over there. So I think it would just make more sense to, to have it three wide and then one wide down there to line up with my front door uh, to the house that I barely use. I pretty much sleep in here at this point, but I still think it's cool to have because this was originally the first spot of the uh, the first village house. So I uh, definitely want to kind of keep this here because this is pretty much the only uh, building from the old village that's somewhat still in place and still in the, the same spot. So I want to work on a bridge. I want to make it go up. You know, I don't, uh, obviously, obviously I want to make it go up. It's a bridge, but I want to make sure it's not just like, you know, like it's not just my cursor kind of demonstrates what I'm, I'm trying not to do. I don't want it to just kind of be like a staircase. I want it to kind of have a nice flow and a nice roundness to it, uh, which would be ideal for the bridge. So that's what I'm going to do right now. And we'll come back in a little bit and see how it all comes together. So I think the bridge came out pretty well. As you can see, it looks pretty nice. I can obviously ride under it in a boat, which is nice. I don't know how often I'll be using said boat, but it, the bridge still does look nice here. As you can see, the squid as well made it under there. So it is environmentally friendly as well, which is nice to see. Anyways, with the bridge fully complete here, I can obviously walk over it here and look at this ugly building that has burned down and I need to fix it. So I have a plan for how I can fix it. Uh, so. I'm gonna get back in a little bit when it is fully fixed and I can show you guys what I installed to make it fireproof. What do you think? I think it's beautiful. It looks so good. I have done the trick right like this. So what I've managed to do on the inside here is very simple. I've just put something that doesn't catch on fire. For example, copper. That shouldn't be waxed. Give me this, there we go. Uh, we don't want that to be oxidized. Anyways. That's all I've done. I've just added a quick line of copper here and that will prevent uh, the fire from spreading upwards. And then I have this here. I used the vines here from the nether because I was scared the ladders would actually catch themselves. So yeah, we're just gonna use that from now. Again, I don't really care that much about the insides. I don't go inside it that much. I just wanna make sure the outside looks pretty good, which I think it does uh, for sure. So that is pretty much the episode for me today, guys. I gotta say, this place is coming together very, very nicely with all of the pathways coming all in here. I think it looks really, really nice here. I can't wait to keep adding on more to make it really look nice here. Uh, definitely next episode, I want to work on getting some uh, blocks down here. Probably the emeralds are just 
farm the ever-living daylights out of the cartographers and stuff that are in here for this area here uh, to put in the beacons. I think will look really nice. It will put a nice center of the town, I feel like. Uh, but I'm going to, again, call that an episode here today, guys. If you liked the video, make sure to leave it a like. If you really liked it, make sure to subscribe. It helps me out a ton. Thanks again for watching. Stay tuned for more.